So if you look at the rough stats without doing any research of this player, he looks like one of the worst draft busts in Montreal Canadiens history. But he eventually, after severe injuries that kind of curtailed his NHL career, he became a renaissance man in sports, in literary, literary circles, as an actor. And, uh, you know, he wrote a book that's probably one of the most underrated hockey books of all time. Now, when Terry Ryan first came to major prominence, good St. John's Newfoundland boy, he was uh, considered one of the Western Hockey League's uh, top young players. He, uh, he first started with the Quinnell Millionaires of the RMJHL and eventually graduated to the Vernon Lakers of the BCHL, then the Tri-City Americans of the WHL. Now, uh, in 95, his draft year, he put out some outstanding numbers, 50 goals, 60 assists for 110 points and 27 points in 17 playoff games. Now, 6-1, 207, very, very uh, uh, strong player on the ice. Now, he started playing sports at an early age as his father, Terry Ryan Sr., very talented player as well, had skated for the Hamilton Red Wings in the OHA before venturing on his own hockey quests that uh, would see him play five years of pro hockey, including a season in the WHA with the popular Minnesota Fighting Stains. Now, unfortunately, uh, the turning point in his young life came when he was 10, when his second cousin, Michelle McGuire, was killed in Edmonton by a drunk driver. McGuire was in her early 20s when she lost her life. The families were so close that Ryan stayed with her parents in Edmonton when he was drafted to the NHL. Now, he's a big advocate, again, against uh, drunk driving. That's been a big part of his, uh, uh, what do you call it, charitable and outreach work. Now, uh, he also played in the 1990 and uh, 91 Quebec International Peewee Hockey Tournament with a minor hockey team from Mount Pearl, uh, Newfoundland. Now, in 91, again, at the age of 14, he played junior hockey with the Quinnell Millionaires in BC for a couple of seasons, where he won the top score award and was selected as a member of the Rocky Mountain League All-Star team. Now, the WHL uh, uh, Bantam draft uh, led him to the Tri-City where he was named WHL Rookie of the Year in 93 and Most Improved Player in 94. Now he won plus minus the next season, one more spirited, and uh, again, number four in his draft year for scoring in WHL last year. Now Ryan was selected eight overall in the 95 NHL entry draft. Uh, the Montreal Canadiens had a high hopes for him, and he got seasoning with the Frankton Canadiens, where he was named Rookie of the Year in 98. Well, uh, where he was second in goals, but also led the league in fights with 34. Now, uh, despite his high draft ranking, Ryan eventually played only eight games in NHL over parts of three seasons, all spent with Montreal, but he did not register a single point and suffered a career-ending ankle injury in 2001, ending his chances at returning to the big leagues because it took a, a lot for him to rehabilitate. Now, due to such a short NHL career, Ryan is often considered by, by many media a draft bust. I don't think so. Sometimes players in any sport uh, can have injuries. They could have things that don't go their way. It doesn't mean they're basically a draft bust. You know, uh, you, you play the lot lottery and sometimes things happen. Look at players like Pelly Lindbergh who played a couple of seasons. Uh, look at Montreal's draft picks in the 60s and 70s. A lot of the number one draft picks and went nowhere. Like I said, there's no guarantees with the NHL draft. Now, the majority of his career was spent in minor professional leagues, and he signed in St. John's in 1999-2000 to play for his hometown Maple Leafs, but was never signed by Toronto themselves due to a contractual conflict with the Habs. In 2000, Ryan won the St. John Maple Leafs Humanitarian Award of the Year. In 2003, he led the Orlando Seals with playoff goals with eight to lead them uh, with the league championship. Now, here's where his career gets very, very diverse. In 2003, 05, 07, 09, 11, and 13, uh, Ryan represented Canada at the SISBHF ball hockey tournament, tournaments in Switzerland, Pittsburgh, Germany, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, and Canada. He led the team to a gold medal in 03 and 07, won silver in 2011, and won a bronze medal for Canada again at the 2013 Worlds in St. John's. Now, in 2011, in Bratislava, Ryan was Canada's leading scorer. He also has two national ball hockey championships to his credit, with the Montreal Black Knights in 2008 and the Newfoundland Black Horse in 2010. 
In 2016, he reached the Provincial Hockey Championship Finals. In 2018, his team, the Colonial Auto Parts from St. John's, won the 2018 Canadian Men's Master Championship, and his other team, Black Horse, took silver in the National Ball Hockey Championships in his Senior Men's A competition. Now, Ryan has played Newfoundland Senior Hockey with the St. John Capitals and the Clareville Caribous, who lost the 2004 Allen Cup Final to the Dundas Real McCoys in overtime. He played with his hometown Mount Pearl Blades for two seasons, who missed the playoffs for both years. In 2006, he was named top scorer for the Avalon East League and the Newfoundland Provincial League. In 2007, he claimed the title of MVP and Avalon East top scorer. In 2008, he played with the Bentley Generals of the Alberta Senior Hockey League, winning a silver medal at the Allen Cup and was named top scorer. Now, Ryan is also active at bat- baseball in the summers, suiting up with, for the Mount Pearl Knights of the St. John's Men's Baseball League. Uh, he's also an avid recreational swimmer as he swims laps, laps at the local swimming hole by an Angus Pratt Mercy Home in Rhinus River. Now, Ryan also works as an actor in the film industry as it appeared on several episodes of the hit CBC television program Republic of Doyle, playing small roles. He's also played himself in the OLN uh, Road Hockey Rumble and played Zombie Number 22 in Zack Snyder's Dawn of the Dead in 2004. In addition to playing British Soldier Number 1, uh, uh, the first on-screen casualty in the Netflix Discovery Channel television series Frontier, which stars Jason Mamone in the lead role, he also had small roles in Frontier Season 2, Little Dog on CBC, Caught, Schitt's Creek, and very short films. He also wrote and played the lead role in a short film called A Stand-In, due in 2018. Now, Ryan, who has also has a Bachelor of Arts degree in folklore and English, released his acclaimed first book, Tales of a First Round Nothing, in May 2014, which was well received by critics. It's a, it's a must-read if you have a chance for a Christmas gift. Now, he is also trying his hand uh, in recent years at stand-up comedy and performed his uh, a show to good reviews, opening from Jerry D. of Family Feud Canada fame at the GM uh, Motor Centre in Oshawa, Ontario on April 26th, uh, excuse me, 22nd, 2016. Now, uh, the idea about uh, Terry Ryan, again, it all depends who you talk to. I just gave you uh, his background, but Renaissance uh, people like him it's uh, it's quite interesting because he's done everything in sports and, and entertainment and uh, outreach. And he also uh, tried his uh, role at politics, where in 2017 he ran unsuccessfully for city council in the great community of Mount Pearl. Now, we, uh, we want to also talk about that book just very... Uh, very quickly, uh, uh, currently available on Amazon.com. Uh, it has 89 uh, 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 reviews with four and a half stars. It has a Ford from the great Aaron Asham, the former Montreal Canadian player, and of course Jim Cuddy, who's a big hockey fan of Blue Rodeo fame. Now, just uh, the information in the book goes like this. Terry Ryan was poised to take the hockey world by storm when he was selected 8 overall by the Habs in a 95 entry draft, their highest pick in a decade. Expected to become a major hockey star, he played a total of 8 games with the Habs. Again, no goals and no assists. Not exactly the career he or anyone else was expecting. Though Terry's NHL career wasn't long, he experienced a lot as no shortage of hilarious and fascinating revelations about life in pro hockey on and off the ice. In Tales of a First Round Nothing, he recounts a time he was there to drink 24 beers in eight hours, partying with rock stars and everything in between. Ryan tells it like it is, detailing his rocky relationship with Michelle Therrien, who is not one of my favorites at all, the former head coach of Montreal, and explaining what life is like for a man who is unprepared to have his career over so soon. So, on one fact, if he didn't get along with Michelle Therrien, for me, that makes him a million-dollar player in my view, because the only thing Michael Terry and Michel Therrien should be in charge of is garbage collection. Enough said. Terry Ryan, the legend, the Renaissance guy, uh, very interesting cat, and he should have his talk, own talk show down the road. I'd love to see the Terry Ryan talk show. Have a good day. Bye.